morning Tuesday morning so we're going to try again if you looked at the um, Instagram video I broke down yesterday I drove from home I got to Newmarket which is about an hour away and then I stopped because I needed a wee so I pulled over in a lay-by um, Got it. I, I wasn't weeing on the side of the road or anything like that. I've got a toilet in the back. So I got into, used the toilet, sorted that out. Got back in the van, tried to start the car. I uh, tried to start it absolutely nothing. Now, I try, I've got a leisure battery in the back, so I tried to jump it off a leisure battery. And it wasn't the battery. All the lights were coming on, everything was fine. It turns out, it was the starter motor. So, new starter motor fitted, well, on a tow truck to, uh, from Newmarket to the garage near where I live. They got that, got me dropped off and then the guy went, which was brilliant. It was AASP, I think that's what they were called. Oh, light's gone off. Fantastic at what he did. Really good, really pleased with that. Dropped me at the garage, so Jamie in the garage he said, Oh, I'll, I'll have a look at it today um, and then get the stuff ordered and I might be able to get it done tomorrow morning. So I said, Brilliant, Jamie, thank you very much. Anyway, Jamie phones me at half past two. I'm just taking your old starter motor off, um, and your new one's on its way. So if you come over here for about half past, before half past four, and have your van. Like, nice one, Jamie. So, goes over there, picks the van up. He'd also fixed the leak on the power steering, which I kept having to top up. I meant to keep, I meant to, I kept meaning to take it into him to get it fixed, but I just didn't have the time. To, to lose the van for a day, if you know what I mean. So, he fixed that, and he said, your oil was a little bit low, so I've topped that up, and your water was a little bit low, I know it's only water, but that got topped up as well. So this starts like a good one, and, and thanks to Jamie, because I was, I was gearing myself up for another day off work tomorrow because I, th I didn't, but then he did say to me when I picked it up, he said, I know you've had a day off work today, he said, so I tried to get you back on the road. Top banana, Jamie, top banana. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get myself to London now, I'm going to Boxford Street again. And I think we might be able to make a more interesting video than I did last week. Because last week, I, I'm still, I still haven't uploaded it. I'll get round to doing it. I'll probably put them on at the weekend as a like a double thing. So you'll have two to watch at the weekend as opposed to not having one this weekend. So I'll catch up with you in a while when I'm, I don't know, walking up Charing Cross Road or walking over the bridge, over the river or something. So, stay cold. So just coming up to the lay-by yesterday, at lay-by just now where I spent three hours sat on the side of the road. And it was about, yeah, it was exactly, in fact, it was exactly this time. It's now 10, well, 11 minutes past four, and it was ten, it was quarter past four when I pulled over. So, I got two ticks. So there we go. Coming up to the parking space now, the lay-by. Oh, there's a truck in it already, look. So just there, that's where I pulled in. Got in the back, went for a wee, and never came out. Well, not not until three hours later. But it was this, like when I stopped, it was this dark. 
and I had to wait till the sun came up and I phoned phoned the wife, she was brilliant by the way. Do you imagine some idiot phoning you at I think I phoned her at ten to five and I think she answered the phone at about twenty past five. I phoned her about ten times in between that, sent her a couple of messages. And then she got up and then she was on it. She downstairs, she got the insurance information. She got, you know, just went, right, tell them where you are, do this, do that, fill this for me, and it told me all the way through it. And then just said, keep me informed as to what you're doing so we know what's going on. And yeah, she was brilliant. You moan about them, but you know, couldn't live without them, could we? Right, I've got another, I don't know, hour and a bit left now. What's it saying? 58 miles I've got to go. So I'll catch up with you when I'm ready to have a bit of a kip, I think. Should be getting there around 20 past five or something like that. space I'm gonna have a couple of hours kit now I hope it's just started raining so it's like being inside a tin can when people are bouncing forks on top of it but hopefully I'll get some sleep night night or oh, morning morning I don't know which way you do it all right up and ready to go a little bit longer than I should have uh, it's now nine o'clock but I'm up I'm dressed teeth brushed a lot and I'm ready to make my journey up to Oxford Street so we'll have a walk up there now <laughs> that 
rifle board done. I purposely haven't shown you anything of it because it is absolutely disgraceful. As you can see, there's not enough room. There's just, it's just it shouldn't have been installed. But apparently, um, UKPN said they wouldn't. That's all their gear. Said that they wouldn't provide service from the street unless a rifle panel was used according to the main contractor so there you go who works for Ryefield or owns Ryefield and works for UKPN um, we've got some 300 mil earths to put in now from that earth bar up that tray round onto that piece there and across the ceiling they're going to put some uh, tray on the ceiling and then they drop into there through with that piece of trunk and one of them comes out of the side and goes up to that earth point in there and the other one is for this panel it comes in through here up a bend on it and into there so that's I'm just going to go to the toilet now and that's the next job <sighs> dear me who would have thought Two, three hundred mil earths would be so difficult to get in on your own, like. <clears throat> I've got them in that side. So, come down there. Got that one bent, tied on. Let's put that one over. And then to go on that piece of tray there, come off at the end and then turn into there. So it's the second one getting the, I'm trying to get that in now. And what I've done, <clears throat> to stop the end catching, stop the nose catching, I've tied this piece of earth on it. And then what that does is it keeps it up here. See there, it's not, it's not catching on, on there, but also the nose isn't going like underneath, catching on something in there. So it just, although you can only move it, I don't know, eight inches or something every time, but that eight inches, at least you know where it is. So then you just, what you do is you slide that down the cable <clears throat> and lift it up again. See if I can show you.
Right. Jesus Christ. So that's that in. I like to tie it along here now because obviously if I'm bending it into place, all that's going to happen if that's not tied down there, it's just going to push out over that way. So I'll get that tied down. I have to be offside for four o'clock. It's ten to four now. So I don't think I'm going to get much more done tonight. I'll get this tied. Right, I've got that tied in there, basically up there, look. So they come off across here, across that bit on the ceiling, they're going to put a piece of tray. So I'm not going to mess on bending those cables here, there and everywhere, huffing and puffing and sweating to try and get them somewhere near and then they come and put the train and I have to do it all again. So I'll leave it. But what I'm not looking forward to is this look. Right, there's the two. Tray goes on, that's on the ceiling there. So they drop in. This one here tied up follows those cables there, up, inside, across and onto an earth stood in there. The other one, that one there goes to that eventually but it's got to come out of that stuffing gland right so that means trying to bend a 300 mil earth to in well there like that even bending it round like that <clears throat> will be a task So I might have to ask them in the morning to drill me another hole here and put another stuffing gland in so I've got a chance because otherwise I don't think I will. I might have to bring a ratchet strap in the morning to pull the final uh, little bit in. But that's me tonight I think. I'm hot and sweating and hungry and tired. But I need to go at the gym because I didn't go last week. Um, didn't even look at it. Bought a new pair of trainers, never even saw the inside of the gym. Um, I just went on the drink. I found that, I haven't even uploaded the video, but I found a, a, uh, a pub that sold this beer. <sighs> Outrageous. So I might go, I mean, I might even go there again tonight, but instead of drinking eight, I'll have two and then go back to the van. But yeah, so I'll have, to, I'll have to go to the gym and make it count. I might even go on the exercise bike. Try and lose a bit of weekend weight. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Unless there's something interesting that happens, happens on the way home. I'll see you tomorrow. Right, welcome back. Wednesday morning, I forgot where I was there. So, got one cable in. I'm gonna give this a bit of a, see if I can do the armour and challenge. A bit of a twist off. I got, I think I was left with about five on this one. So, confidence is there. Let's give it a go. No, nah, didn't get it. Four. One, two, yeah, four left. Oh. Never mind. <coughs> Wasn't too bad. Right, as it plays out, <coughs> I can't terminate this because you've got two five core 35 mils and it's only a 125 amp switch. So they're gonna to have to get uh, the copper, the copper set thing that goes in the terminals that spread the um, they spread out, and then you can bolt the cables, the lugs, to the uh, the piece that they're putting in. 
we've had a look at the stuff around the corner in that corner there so there's four to do there in parallel again so this is an essential board so you've got the supply goes in as a normal supply and then there's a changeover for the battery backup which is this is the battery room um, and then this supplies that that board so you'll have essentials like essential lighting um, any essential like a, I think they do a lift so there is a fire lift because it is I think it's 10 I think it's still 10 floors so to be coming down in a fire you know I think they've still got a fire lift on it and then there's various other essential supplies alarms and whatnot so they're fed from this panel I can't, like I said, can't terminate this one, can terminate that one, but I've got to sort of take it to bits. So this will be graph, this will be my work today. And then I've got a 4 core 95 on the other side of that wall over there as a, one of the retail supplies, because on street level, there are going to be retail units. That's street level, by the way, just in case you were wondering. And then there is some wiring to do the mains boards in the flats upstairs. I'll show you that tomorrow, but basically, it's just a, basically a marshalling box. So you'll go in a junction box, go into that with a three core 35 mil, bump, 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 and then that comes out into the meter. So I'll be doing those probably tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Thursday tomorrow, isn't it? Christ. I didn't even have a beer. Well, I had one beer last night away with it um and then i've got to go to oxford because the job i was on over at oxford i booked in some cable. i glanded the cables two 240s i glanded them and they didn't have the lugs they had 12 mil holes not 14 mil holes so job was out the windows but i booked them in and i thought i would get them done while i was still on that job but they still didn't have the lugs so now it's sort of bit me on the ass, but what can you do so i've got to go back over there tomorrow well i'll go back over thursday night park up and then get on the job early ish get the job rattled off it's glad it's terminating two two four core two forties and an earth there's loads of room so i should be there maximum two hours and then i can get back home because the boy is singing at his school uh for the jubilee so I'd like to see that, and that's a quarter to three. So I'd hope I'd be home in good time for that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to stick a gland on this, and I'm going to get this in. I know people, you probably looked and thought, he's done it again, he's stripped those cables into this, and you should take the sheathing all the way into the board. You can't, you can't do it. It's A lot of people commented on the last video, saying, oh, you, you've stripped them. And um, you shouldn't really strip them, you should take the insulation. It's a six inch, 150 mil trunking. There is no way you're bending that complete unit of cable 90 degrees and then 90 degrees again to strip it inside that board. It is not happening, just no way. You'll damage the ins, you'll ripple the insulation on the inside anyway. And what is the difference between this as it stands and wiring cables? In trunking. What's the difference? Singles, 2.5s, 1.5s, 4 mils. You run them in trunking. What's the difference to doing this? It's a lot shorter distance. I just I can't see the problem with it. But obviously, some people either know more than me or just like commenting, don't they? But anyway, I won't let it perturb me. I'm going to get on and I'm going to say try and earn some money, but no chance. Not this week. Not this week, my friend. Been a bad old week. It was only three days last week. It's only going to be three days this week because the van broke down on Monday. As if you if if you'd watched uh, seen the Instagram, you'd have seen that performance. Three hours sat on the side of the A14, but 
sometimes things don't go smoothly, do they? Sometimes they do. And that's what you've got to look at, really. It's not all bad, is it? It's not always bad. And to be quite honest, if it was always bad, eh, if it was always good, it'd be boring, wouldn't it? There'd be no excitement. You'd have no problems to overcome, and I think overcoming problems keeps your brain working, keeps your brain alive. So if everything was just given to you on a plate, handed to you on a plate, what would, what on earth would this is getting on me? It's in there. What would be the point? I.e. like the royal family, you know. You've got no, all right, you've got no stress, but like, can you imagine that? Having to go around and opening, you know, hospitals and nursing homes and walking around saying to everyone, hello, what do you do? <laughs> well, I'm a nurse, you tit. Save people's lives and don't get paid enough. What do you do? Nothing really, but I'm worth a fortune. shouldn't really badmouth the royals, they're, they're my neighbours, don't you know? God, I hate FP cables. I'll get this. <laughs> First of all, it kept falling out, so I pushed it in. Now it won't come out. Oh, my life. inside that gland. I didn't realise that. Shroud, sorry, not gland. It's all greasy. Oh, I'm gonna ring it here. I don't care what you say.
Right then, so I'm just going to mount, I'm not going to mount anything, that is a complete and utter lie. I'm going to put the banjos in a line, get the holes drilled. I need 1300, 1300 mil maximum to reach the earth bar and then that'll do the two switches as well. So I've got <coughs> two going to that, back to back, and two going to that, back to back. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze. I've got those moved out the way because they were tri-rated already in. So I've just pulled them forward. Um, holes to drill and then hopefully those to drop in. Now what I'm hoping, fingers crossed, is because I only need 1300, is I can move it into that gap there, bend it round and drop them in. So I'm going to start on that side with that cable, that cable there, bum, 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 and then obviously move across and get them dropped in that's the plan whether that comes to fruition we'll have to find out now if we just take the little two inch brush and work it into the canvas there. We don't have mistakes here, we have a happy little accident. Right, <clears throat> now we've got the cables glanded, we've got to try and make sense of this in here, which isn't going to be easy, I don't think. Just the way everything's configured, like if you look at these, the, the earth cables there, right? So they're out of those two, they come down, now I'm going to have to obviously loop them like that and in. But then when I get those... Because then those terminate into there, right? And they're going to be over the top of them. So I've got to get them in first before I can put the cables in. But then this is a five call as well. So that's got an earth in it. So that'll have to come out and go into there as well. So it's not straightforward, unfortunately. But don't worry about that as well, because that does straighten up. It's just like a... It just pops straight back up, it's not a problem. So I want to get on with that. I'll show you that when I'm done or if I'm nearly done. That's as far as I can go with that because I can't get the cover off. That cover there, look. The Allen key is incredibly tiny. The covers there I got off because I could twist them. <laughs> the cover off the cover I got off there because I broke it. So I don't want to break another one. So I need a small Allen key. So that's those in, down, two of them terminated, all the earths terminated. And if we spin around this away, that's those two in. And then those two terminated. So, so that's me for today. Uh, I'm not going to bother tidying up because somebody else will do it, won't they? So I'm gonna lock this room up now and that's me. I'm gonna go I'm gonna to go to the gymnasium and have something to eat. Well I'm gonna have something to eat, then I'm going to go to the gym, have a nice shower, and then I've got I've got a cable to pull in the morning. Courtesy of uh the people who I am employed by, because they couldn't get a cable gang here. So I've got to pull the cable and I've got to um sort of supervise the lads who are going to come and help me some of the sparks are going to come and help me so i've got to do that in the morning finish that one off there and then do the one the one that's been pulled in i've got the gland and terminate it and then i think there's a 95 mil to do but i've got to be off site by four o'clock tomorrow because i'm bringing the van up and the only spot i can get to park in the loading bay is four o'clock 
So I'll have to have that all packed up and sorted, ready to skedaddle, because I've got to go to Oxford to finish off a job over there for no money. Which reminds me, I've reminded myself, I have to phone them and let them know that I'm coming on Friday, because I did say it was Friday or Monday. Anyway, I digress. I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. So I'll see you in the morning. Front of the van tee tonight again. So I thought I'd go pretty big. A big bro shawarma, which is uh, chicken and lamb. And I get red cabbage, white cabbage, and there's garlic sauce on it. One can, two cans of Pepsi, and then a tray. Well, that was full, but I've just sat eating it. And I thought, oh, hang on. This will be interesting. I'm sure I'm sure you'll find it interesting. But I always get a full tray of that as well, because that, I think it's made by the kitchen staff at Hogwarts, to be quite honest with you, because it is absolutely incredible. Like, beautiful. It's got to have some sort of magic in it. Mmm, lovely. So, yeah, that's tonight's tea. See you in the morning. Right then, that's done. I've made a bit of a balls because if you notice, there's only two earth bolts in. I can't get me drilling to drill the other two in the middle. I need a little pistol drill and I haven't brought that with me. So cables in, terminated. As neat as I can. I mean, I'm not, it's not the greatest thing that's ever been handed to a man. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go crazy. Cables pulled, the lads tied it in, I pulled it in with them, then I came and done that, the lads tied it in, so I'm going to go and connect it now, I'll gland it now and then connect it, I'll show you that. Been in there to see what, go what goes on, but nobody would talk to me about it. Right, now then, I've got to get that earth through an end cap on there, through a stuffing gland. So rather than trying to feed the earth through it, what I've done is cut the hole. I've tried to measure the best I can. So I've cut the hole and now I'm going to slide that up this way and try and fix it. This is going to be hilarious. Well, unless I've got the measurements right and then it'll be spot on. So rather than me trying to hold that whole length up, might as well use the ratchet strap. Now 
I found the bolts for the bottom one because I didn't take it out. Snap the threads on the uh, stuff and gland. Right, what I've got to do now is form it. It's like a semi permanent cable obviously that's why there's no tray or cleats or anything so what I've got to do is I've got to form a bend because it's going into that isolator there but I've got nothing to tie to so what I'm going to do is use the cable to bend itself against itself I'll show you how I do this the best I can but I'm going to be in the way most of the time so I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit, let it uh, set itself and then hopefully I can get the gland on it. Right, that's in, it's sort of temporary permanent. I could only terminate two cars because they only had two lugs. They've got no black sleeving so I couldn't sleeve the black. Jesus, what? Yeah, I, I'm good. what I'm going to say now is I'm I'm glad to be off. I'm glad I'm not coming. Well, I hope I'm not coming back. And if I do come back, I'd be sorely disappointed. Yeah, bad bad job, badly designed, badly organised, and the reality of what they want doesn't weigh up to the expectation of what can be done because it's been so badly designed. They're wanting like. Absolute royal jobs, Buckingham Palace jobs, the absolute perfection, but you can't do it because the, the panels, the switch rooms, just overcrowded, the badly designed. Uh, yeah, the, the expectation doesn't live up to what reality delivers. Uh, I've just been talking to a mate of mine, he's on the other side, and he said exactly the same thing. So uh, hopefully I won't be back. But that's it for this week, and I'm off for two weeks. Uh, I'm having a wedding party, going on honeymoon and all that sort of stuff. So I won't be putting anything on. I might put a little snippet of the wedding on. I don't know yet. I might put some of the bands on and whatever else. But um, there won't be any work stuff for at least two weeks. So I'll bid you farewell for now. Thanks for watching as always. And uh, I shall see you on the next one. And remember, little thumbs up. See you in a bit.